Good morning, friends. One of the really hard parts about being a human and knowing how to love is that when someone we love dies, it really hurts. Maybe you've had a beloved pet die or a grandparent or another relative, a family friend. In the school this last week, we've been sad about Mrs. Catalano or one of our preschool teachers die. It hurts. And that whole experience of feelings when someone dies is what we call grief. Grief doesn't look the same way for any two people. There might be some things that are similar. A lot of times you feel sadness, like crying. You might feel numb, kind of like you're not feeling anything, like all the feelings are just shoved down inside and not coming out. You might be angry either at the fact someone died or at the, the one who died, or maybe angry just at other things, kind of out of nowhere. Part of grief can actually be laughter or thanksgiving, because as we remember the love that we have for the one who died, we remember wonderful memories that go along with that person or that pet. Those memories, some of them are bound to be funny or make us feel kind of warm. So that can be a part of grief too. Sometimes we feel a little nervous and laughter can be a bit of that. Grief can often mean feeling tired or your whole body feeling kind of out of sorts. Maybe your stomach hurts a little or your heart beats harder. Your mind isn't thinking as clearly. Those are parts of grief too. There are all sorts of other ways that grief shows up. And it's all because of love. If we didn't love, well, then we wouldn't feel that grief. But the fact you're feeling it in those situations is entirely normal. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And if part of grief for you is feeling numb and not showing much emotion, that's okay too. It doesn't mean that you didn't love as much. It just means that's how it's showing for you. The good thing is that grief is something we can work with and through. First of all, you don't have to be alone in it. If you're ever grieving, one of the things that really helps is to talk to somebody else about it. Tell them stories. Tell them what your feelings are. Let them listen and support you. Crying can help. Writing about how you're feeling or writing down memories can be an important part of that. Sometimes just distraction, doing something that's entirely different, that lets you just escape your feelings for a little while. That's all right, too. Prayer, writing poetry, singing a song, reading books, all of those are great responses as well. Sometimes physical exercise helps, especially if we're feeling the grief in our body, getting out and running around or jumping rope or playing hard on a game can help. Maybe it's just that sitting somewhere quietly and thinking makes a difference. There's no one way to approach grief and you can find what works best for you. If you know someone who is grieving, think about what might be a help. You can make a card. You can take time to be with that person, to listen to them. You can give them a hug. You can play a game. You can 
fix a meal or a special treat and take it to them. Again, there are all sorts of ways to reach out to someone who is grieving. My hope for you is that you won't have very many experiences of this, but because you're human, you'll have some, and the other people you know will as well. So it's an important thing to understand something about and be able to respond to in ways that are helpful and healthy. What I ask of you and your classmates today is that you talk a little bit about experiences you might have had of losing a family member, losing a pet, losing someone that you loved. What did that feel like for you? How did you respond? And what helped you feel better? Or if none of those things have happened yet, fantastic. That's a that's wonderful. So you can just imagine how you might care for someone who has gone through that. Let us pray. Oh God, we thank you for the gift of love, for relationships in our lives that are deep and dear to us, for people and animals who mean so much to us. Help us when we are grieving, if we know someone else who is, to care for ourselves and care for them, to be kind and gentle and understanding, knowing that with time and patience, maybe many tears and some laughter, we will feel whole again, still missing whoever it was, with a special place always in our heart for them, but able to go on with life. We pray this in your holy name. Amen.